didn't know anywhere else to go. Come here, sit he down. He said he'd kill me. He really will kill me. Have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Who, sweetie? My ex-boyfriend. He's just got a bad temper. He's just really, really mad, that's all. Well, well, listen, where is he now? He got stopped at a red light. But I left my car in the parking lot. I have to go get it before he sees no, it. No, 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 no. Relax, no, relax. No, no, no. Mary, call the police and tell them we need help. We need it now. Okay. Yeah. Deacon Ragan, would you go and guard the back door? Yeah. Let us know if he comes. All right. What's your name? Terry. Terry, we've yes. got the police on the way. Deacon See, Raglan is guarding right that front door. An and right these away. two men we will watch an over you. Okay? I need to run down to my office. I'll be back in just a second. But you're safe. Okay. Yes? Well, here it comes. And he pulls a red face. Oh, don't do this. Please don't do this. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, listen, this is the house of God. This is unfinished business. Get out of my way. Oh, 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 Wait, oh, oh, Pastor, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. It's all right. It's all right. You know, I'm well suspecting you got a little bit of a hearing problem. Because the man just said, this is a house of God. This is a place of peace. Now I think it's best if you just turn and leave. Who do you think you are, witch? <laughs> You did not just call. Mm. We're going to come at this thing from a different direction. You harmed that child, and you will never get to her without going through me and them. Now turn around and get out. Going through one woman and these old men's not going to be a problem. Hey. Wait, wait, what? Ah, wait a minute. What? Ah, wait, 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 wait. Hey. Oh, here. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Yep, I knew there was a pain in my neck. Now, this is old Bertha. But I want to be real honest with you. Bertha, she got a real bad temper. And you never know what old Bertha is going to do. Now turn and get out of here. This woman's crazy, man. I could have told you that. Mary, are the police on their way? Yes, they're sending a couple of cruisers, but they said it's going to be a while. Well, we're just going to have to try something different. Now, Mr. Ex-Boyfriend, I got a real busy day today, and frankly, you done ticked me off. So, Pastor, Deacons, can I go ahead and just shoot him? Hey, wait, Pastor. Hey, you know what? You should just leave now. This isn't finished, Terry. I'm going to find you, and it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> Pastor Lynn, I was so scared for you. I thought you was going to shoot that man. Are you all right? Oh, I will be as soon as my heartbeat gets back to normal. Pastor Lynn, were you really going to shoot him? And when did you start packing heat? Oh, Deacon Hall. Deacon Hall. Yes. Oh, water gun. Now I'm going to have the big one. <laughs> oh, how I love this church. And I'm going to find a new one. <laughs> oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The police are here. Sergeant, where the rest of you? Budget cuts. What can I say? Billy? Is that you? Pastor Lynn. Hey. It's been ages since I've seen yeah. this. So what's going on? And what's with the gun? The officer, the man that beat this child, came in here to finish the job. And Pastor Lynn, she was just trying to protect her. That's really? right. With a water pistol. So why am I not surprised? 
And you, you could have been killed. She could have been killed too. And I guarantee you at that point, my only priority was her protection. And Billy, right now, your only priority is to get out there, find that thug, and toss him in the slammer. All right, let's get some information then. Okay, I got all the information that I need, and there's a warrant put out for the guy. Excellent. Okay. And we appreciate you. Okay, no problem. Yes. Hey, officer, is there a battered women's shelter that she could stay the night? There is, but it's always full. Well, why don't they just open up another one? Again, budget cuts. Mm. Wow. Well, looks like another opportunity for the church to come together for the community to fill a need. Let's build another one. This time, faith-based. Oh, yeah. Getting outside of those four walls, isn't that what you're always talking about? Hallelujah. Somebody been listening to me. Yes, I did. And you were right. We have so many traditions that truthfully don't produce any fruit for the kingdom. And this would give us the opportunity to produce some good fruit to those who desperately need the love of Christ. Yes, so goodbye to church anniversaries. Goodbye to Appreciation Day. And goodbye to potluck dinners. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Well, maybe oh, some of them. <laughs> well, and hello to the community coming together. Music to God's ears. Yes. Well, in the meantime, what are we to do with this poor child? That is a good question. What do we do with her? Easy. She'll go home with me. Is that all right with you, Terry? I can't. I left my dog at home. Besides, she's my baby, and I'm afraid that he'll hurt her. Well, he's already proven he'll hurt you, and your life is much more important than a dog. But she loves me. Uh... Deacon Hall. I do believe your pup Huckleberry would really enjoy some company. Now wait just a minute. We will be we'll be glad to take care of your pup just until you can sort things out. Okay? Now I'm not gonna be walking around to so think sofa. And think a no vote on your position as head deacon. Ooh. Thank you, Deacon. Mary, I meant Mary. And Mama Scott, you go girl. Okay, let's back up a bit. Lynn, I don't think it's a good idea for you to take that girl home. From what I remember, you live alone and it's just not gonna be safe. Well, it's not exactly alone. I got five dogs, a yard full of geese, I got a loud mouth macaw, I got a security system, and I got a real Bertha. All right, all right, here's what I'll do. I'll get a hold of a female police officer. I'll take Terry to the hospital, get her checked out, and then we'll take her home to get her dog and a few personal items, and then bring her over to your house. That's a deal. And then, of course, you'll take her dog over to the halls. Nothing ever changes you. You're still a pain. But I'll tell you what, here's my card. If you need to call me, give me a call. That's my cell on there. Be on speed, doll. Come on, sweetie.